And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Hello and welcome to the show. This is Andy Webb with Lifestyles Unlimited. And as always, we're working on your financial freedom. And I'm filling in today for Al Gordon on Tell Al Tuesday. And I'm excited to be with you. And I thank you for listening. And I'm excited in part because I am joined by a fellow Dallas-Fort Worth-based investor. And also somebody that's gone down the, or is going down the path that I went down as well. Namely, this is a single family investor. Um, again, based in Dallas, Fort Worth, but not necessarily investing just in Dallas, Fort Worth. We'll hear a little bit more about that later. And if you're listening right now and you're thinking about, I just, I just tanked up my truck again. And every time I do that, I cry because it's costing me over a hundred dollars. It's a large diesel truck. It, it, it drinks a lot. And if, if you're like me and you're crying at the pump and you're crying at the grocery store, you need more cash flow. And we're going to hear how this gentleman has added more cash flow as well as wealth to his life through single family investing. So, hey, without further ado, I want to welcome Jacob to the show. Jacob, how are you today? Hi, Andy. Thanks for having me on. I'm doing great. Thank you. Awesome. Very good. So you're like me, you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you would, tell us where you're at and, and maybe give us a little bit of your uh, pre-real estate investing background, career, what, what were you up to? So, yeah, I live in uh, Forney, Texas. It's about 30 minutes outside of Dallas. And uh, lived in DFW my whole life, uh, different suburbs around Dallas. And this is where I call home and hope to always call home. And uh, before Lifestyles and even now currently uh, working with um, at a popular retail location and management and spent about 11 years there and nine years in management. Okay. What kind of hours are you keeping in, in retail management? Um, early mornings and late evenings. Um, normally getting there, working 10 hour shifts from five to three or from one to 11 PM. Okay. Well, are, are, is it just Jacob or you got a family? What, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I got personally. a family. So happily married to my wife, uh, Melissa, coming up here on five years. And we just had our first son. Um, he's coming up on seven months. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. He's, he's a blessing. He's an amazing child. Very good. Well, I'll tell you what, Jacob, I am now, I have... I put in the long hours. I, I did the corporate job. I recently left that corporate job and we had a son just five years ago. And you know what I did today? I went to his pre-K, pre-kindergarten graduation. I didn't know that was a thing, but hey, there is pre-K pre -K graduation. And I was able to go to this thing fully engaged, not looking at my phone like a lot of the other dads that I saw in the audience, checking work emails, thinking I, I got to get going. This thing went for about an hour. So the financial freedom that you right now are working towards, boy, when your son gets to where mine is now, getting out of that pre-K, go, you'll, you'll be going to that graduation, just enjoying life. So you are on a good path and you've started down that path with Lifestyles Unlimited. I want to know, how did you hear about the organization and really what, what convinced you to join? Uh, believe it or not, of all people, my boss actually recommended Lifestyles to me. Your um, boss? His name is Jeff Richardson. I believe yeah, I, uh, I believe y'all know each other as well. I know him very well. In fact, I, I have a note here somewhere. I believe I had Jeff on the show. Jeff for a while. Now he's he's out of corporate America as well. He's he's now left your your employer um, for a while. He was working for one of our our hard money and 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 conventional lenders. And I had a, a good show with him back in 2019. I don't have the exact date in in front of me, but the listener can go check that out. You can find all of our shows, in fact, archived there at lifestylesunlimited.com. Click on the radio tab. You can hear about Jeff. And now we're hearing about Jacob. And so your manager, your boss said, hey, 
we got to get you out of here. Why don't you come check out this organization? So when he made that recommendation, did you listen or were you doubtful? Were you skeptical? Did he have to, did he have to say, it, say it a couple of times or how, how did, how did you proceed? I think initially I was a little skeptical about it, but um, just following him and seeing his path and he just continued to have success and more success and continues to have success today. And um, I really look up to him and his family and I hope that I can follow similar footsteps. Um, He's been retired for a few years now and just seeing how much time he's able to spend with his um, children and his wife and how much engagement they have. I think that's a, a very purposeful thing to do in life. Absolutely right. Yeah, he's got a couple of uh, kiddos as well, somewhere between your eight, your, yours is seven months and my, my five years, I believe. So, yeah, he, he's doing it right. And I'm, I'm glad to hear that he was kind enough and not so scarce, didn't have the scarcity mindset to where he said, I can't tell anybody else about this. I don't want I don't want Jacob to succeed and become a successful real estate investor and leave the corporation. No, he he, he took a totally different approach and, and handed you the baton. What 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 when about was this? What what year did you did you guys have this conversation? I believe the first time he started talking to me about it was in towards the end of twenty eighteen. Okay. And and did you just straight away say, you know what, Jeff, I'm doing it, join? Did you come out to a free workshop? How did you start to engage with Lifestyles Unlimited? Um, it definitely seemed interesting. Um, to be honest, sound a little too good to be true. Um, but, you know, he told me to listen to the to this specific podcast. So I started listening to this podcast and reading some real estate books that he had recommended. And then he recommended what, that we're gonna, I we're gonna head into a, a break. Uh, workshop. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt you here. We're going to head into our first break. When we come back, I want to hear about, you just said the the key word there, free workshop. So to the listeners, stick around. Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues in moments. What would you say to women out there, Kelly? If they're thinking about doing this, if they're sitting out there right now going, I'm trapped with a glass ceiling where I work. I know I can't go up any further. There's there's no room there. What would you say to them about becoming their own boss? Well, you know, you can decide to stay where you're at and keep trying to crack that glass ceiling. But at the end of the day, in this environment, it is so easy you know, to be able to get out of that mold. People know me and they come up to me and they're very gracious and they don't look at me and say, oh, you're a woman, I'm not gonna invest with you, I'm gonna go over here. There's no real gender there. Are you ready to be part of a world where there are no glass ceilings, no gender bias, no limits? Start like award-winning real estate investor Kelly did with the online free workshop. Register at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Back to your map to financial freedom. You're hearing Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Andy Webb, and I'm joined today by a fellow single-family investor, also from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's where I am based. That is my home base. That's largely where my wife and I have been investing over the past 10 years, although we've gone a little bit farther afield now, closer to Houston, and I think we'll hear a little bit from this investor because he 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 beat us to the punch there. He he's been out uh, in farther flung areas as a new investor for some time now. And for the listener, if you're looking around Dallas and thinking, "Man, these prices are kind of high," well, look a little farther afield. It's it's very easy to do. It, it's very easy to do when you have the infrastructure in place, which you get as a member at Lifestyles Unlimited, and when you have the team, the realtors that support you, the the mentors that support you. And Jacob, you you mentioned a, essentially a mentor that that brought you into Lifestyles Unlimited and helped you get started down this path, and that's Jeff. And I know Jeff very well; I've known him for years, thanks to Lifestyles Unlimited. By the way, I love the network, I love the ecosystem here, and the people I meet because I learn so much. And Jeff has taught me a lot as 
well. And you said that you, you know, he, he pointed you in the right direction. Listen to these podcasts, listen to this radio show, right? Go to lifestylesunlimited.com. The radio shows are there. And I think when we were heading into the break, I heard you say over the music, you, you went out to the free workshop. Was that your first live engagement with, with lifestyles then? Yes, that was the first experience I had. Um, I went to the case study here in Irving and got to hear from some fellow members of um, experience that they've had over the past few years and the success that they've had. What were some big takeaways from, from, from any of those case studies that you went to? The cash flow was definitely amazing. Um, and the line of entry um, being low, I just kind of always thought real estate investors were these millionaires and owned by all these companies. And the fact that a mom and pop could actually is the majority of the owners of these single family homes uh, made me realize that, hey, I could do this too. So you're not you're not coming from mega wealthy background, it sounds like. No, not at all. Uh, I mean, we had a, had an amazing childhood, but neither uh, myself or my wife grew up uh, upper class or anything like that. We definitely were in the lower middle class and um, had great family support. And but it was more living paycheck to paycheck, and um, wasn't many, many investments that were done on the side. But you joined Lifestyles Unlimited. You started to hear the message. I think the case study that you mentioned or the case studies, those are very, very important. And Jacob, I'll, I'll confess to you, when we joined, it took us a very long time to buy our first single family rental because we were scared. And I would go to the case studies and every other educational event that I could to to learn more, but to get the inspiration. And as you said, to see those numbers, to see if I do this, I'll get that little bit of cash flow right there, that four or $500. And I'll build that equity and things will start to grow. And for the listener, I think that's important right now. Um, as, as we're seeing and experiencing this inflation, things are costing more. And you can cut back or you can add more cash flow. And I think that is the better solution. Because, Jacob, I'm curious, you, you've when did you buy your first house? The first one we purchased was in August of 2019. It's about three months after we became challenge members at Lifestyles. Okay. Okay. So you, kudos to you. You move faster than, than my wife and I. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> um, so you've been in the house for a while. Um, you, you've created some cash flow. What other ways, have you had any surprises during your, your, your initial hold period with that first property in terms of benefits from, from the house that is bringing to you and your family? Yes. Yeah, so the, area of the first home was in Rockwall, Texas, and uh, we're just amazed at how much that home value has risen, not just the the equity capture, but the rents have risen significantly as well. Um, so this investment, we had about $45,000 uh, out of pocket, and we're cash flowing Eight hundred and seventy-five dollars on that property right now. Wow. Now you probably didn't start out at eight hundred, but to your point, rents have been climbing massively. So you've seen probably a you locked in a thirty-year fixed rate mortgage on the property. Is that right? Yes, sir. Locked in at a at a low rate. Um, we were getting four hundred and twenty-five dollars in cash flow whenever we first started, and that eight hundred and seventy-five has been since. October of this previous year, but uh, we expect that to rise once the lease renews here in October. And that's a great story and a classic example. And, and, and the very reason that I say on this show repeatedly that real estate makes such a great inflation hedge. You went from 400, you've doubled it to 800, what, 800, 875, and it's expected to go up even more. Um, and that's just on one house. And then you mentioned as well, the value of the house has increased in Rockwall as well, right? Oh, yes. Um, I still don't believe the numbers. When, whenever we initially purchased it, uh, we purchased it and it had a um, $16,000 
capital gain. And now here, two and a half years later, um, the property has about $150,000 worth of equity. Wow. Okay. That 16, for the listener, that $16,000 capital gain, that's what we call equity capture. Was this, was this a heavy rehab house? Did you have to do a lot of work to it? Yeah, it definitely had some, needed a little bit of everything, you know, roof, uh, foundation work, of course, paint and floors. Um, property just had a terrible smell of cat pee <laughs> and I think we were going to be able to get it all fixed up. <laughs> How much of the work did you do personally? I didn't do a single thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just told us already, working a, as a retail manager, you're, you're working crazy long hours. When do you have the time for that? Uh, I don't, especially with a, a newborn. Yeah, and and but but it's an important message, Jacob, because a lot of people say that very thing to me. Well, I don't have time, I and I don't have the skills, and I don't know how to do it. You don't have to. Uh, you, did you just hire a GC and let just put it into their hands? Yeah, so I trusted um, Lifestyle's vendor program, which is just top notch. Um, they have their own realtors and lenders and contractors, um, you name it. They have foundations on companies that um, their members have used in the past with great success. So they literally started the project and finished the project without us having to lift a single hammer. Yeah, and that's the big point. And, and when I started this, Jacob, I was working full time as well, as was my wife. No kids in the picture yet, but we didn't have the time to go out and take care of or manage through it. We had to do foundation lifts on practically every pos- uh, property, and obviously the cosmetic and some other big ticket items don't have the time for that. We hired it out as well. That's what so many members do, and you make a very great point that the vendor hub, that's where we go. When, when I need a new contractor, a new trade, that's where I go. See what we got out there to begin with, see what lenders are out there insurance brokers, everybody that we need to build our team. Now, you started out in Rockwall, which isn't too far from Forney. When we want to come, or when we come back, I want to hear where you went after that because you went a little farther afield. So to the listeners, stick around. Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. Stop waiting. Stop sitting around. Stop procrastinating. This is your time. Make it happen. Do it now. When's the best time? Now. People go, well, I don't know. It's going to crash. <laughs> it's going to be better next year. It's, I've got to listen to four more classes. I love guys come up to me and tell me, you know, I've been listening to you on the radio for eight years now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I go, and you're not rich yet? <laughs> well, really, I'm thinking about joining next month. <laughs> Do it now. Learn the skills you need to retire with real estate in five years or less. Do it now. Register for the Lifestyles Unlimited free online workshop. LifestylesUnlimitedWorkshop.com Listening to Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show will change your life. Now, here's your host... Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Andy Webb. I'm filling in today on Tell Al Tuesday for Al Gordon. And I'm thrilled to be with you, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a guest that's going down the same path that I did as well. I'm joined by Jacob. He's in Dallas-Fort Worth, and he is a single-family investor. And he told us in the prior segment about his first investment, and the numbers are phenomenal. And he made that investment in 2019. He's doubled his cash flow, 400 and some change back then. And just in a very short period of time with the rent growth you and I have been seeing in the Metroplex and across Texas and across the nation, he's now north of $800. Great inflation hedge. Now, Jacob, I'm looking at the notes here. You picked up this one in Rockwall, which is right down the road from you. But not too long after that, you bought another one. How long down? How long did you wait to buy that second one, and, and where was it? Yeah, the second one uh, came through an email blast, and uh, it was located in 
Magnolia, Texas, which is near Houston area. And it was about probably a week or two after we went in contract on our first one. You know, the email blast that you mentioned, um, we have a, a the Lifestyles Realty team is available to members and they basically, they find these properties. Now, now you may be out there working with wholesalers directly. You may have your own team of realtors that you work with as well. I, I think the more the merrier. You want to try to source as many of these properties as you can, but the Realty team will find these and vet them and run the numbers and if you hear me quoting a, a, a property on the show talking about cash flow, those are the, the email blasts that Jacob is talking about. I've gotten, I get those as well because we're, we're, we're buying houses as well. And uh, it's all put together for us. I mean, Jacob, there's not a lot to do. I mean, a little bit of homework, a little bit of vetting, but you look at the email, does it meet your investment criteria or not? And in your case, Magnolia, how far, how far is Magnolia from 40? What do you think? Uh, it's about four hours, I'd say. Now, did you drive down there and, and walk the property prior to closing or prior to buying it, or how, how did the process work when it's that far afield? So normally we go there once before closing and then once before actually um, running the property out to a resident. Okay, so you are going down. Hey, Magnolia, by the way, I, I pulled the RV bunker from um, – a state park just west of there. We stopped at a nice craft brewery in downtown Magnolia, a great place to take a break before going on to, to Livingston. So I know exactly where you're talking about. Nice little town. Um, so you went down there. You, you mentioned uh, going down there when you moved the, the, the renters in. Are you managing the property yourself or are you using a property manager when you get these farther afield uh, locations? I manage all the properties myself. Yeah, not much to it, right? No, it's actually pretty simple, especially when you do, um, you know, the work in the very beginning and provide them with a a good home that's not going to have any issues and you screen your tenants properly and get the right person in there. Um, I rarely hear from my tenants. I just get the deposit in the mail every month and, and it's pretty simple, to be honest. Yeah, there's not much to it, you know. Um, I interviewed a couple that uh, originally based in Texas, but were operating, I think, 15 units or so here in Texas from Virginia. Uh, Self-managing as well. When you're doing it right, following the right model, and putting out the best product at the best price. Best product means you're going out to your point and renovating everything, fixing everything so that there's nothing, no maintenance issues to worry about. You're not going to hear from those tenants, are you? Nope, sure aren't. And the the house in Magnolia. Now this one, you 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 went on to sell. How long did you hold that one for? So this one we had for about a year, and we couldn't really believe the numbers whenever we first got it. Um, we purchased it for about a hundred and fifty thousand. Um, took about fifteen thousand dollars cash out of pocket, and it was getting five hundred and fifty dollars and cash flow. Very good. So we sold this property and we we decided to do a 1031 exchange and buy two more properties off of the proceeds from this one property. Okay, so you held it for a year and a day at least to, to get into that capital gains territory. And then you did a 1031 exchange. What, what, what does that do for you? So 1031 exchange allows me to sell one property and purchase another, any like-minded real estate, whether that be a home, several homes, an apartment complex, uh, land, anything related to real estate. Um, you just have a 45 day period to purchase the following property after you sell it. And you don't have to pay any of your capital gains tax from the sale of the first property. Exactly right. Yeah. We defer the taxes, defer, defer, defer. And you sound like you're pretty young. I'm getting up there a little bit. Defer, 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 die. So that may be way in the future. We hope it is. Uh, <laughs> but but that's that's the name of the game. It allows us to grow our wealth much faster because we're not paying onerous taxes on the sale of these properties. And by the way, when you do a 1031 exchange, 
when you do the sale, you've got 45 days to identify the property that you're going to buy, and then you have 180 days in total to close on it. So normally you identify three and, and, and target closing on one or two or something like that. I've, I've, I've talked at length with our provider up here. Did you use the, the vendor off the hub here in, in, uh, with Lifestyles? Yes, I used Luann Bluff with Exchange Resource Group. Yeah, Luann's great. Exchange Resource Group, they, they, they are the agent for the, for the process. You have to have an agent. This is not something you can DIY or do, do on your own. So that allowed you to take one house, which was cash flow and great, very low out of pocket, which means super high cash on cash returns. But you took that one house, and now you created out of it two more, two houses. Where were those houses at? Yes, yeah, so it was kind of hard to sell it with the cash flow that it was getting, but the equity capture um, and being able to distribute that to two different properties with similar cash flow, doubling our cash flow from the first one made it make sense. So we took about, made about $50,000 on that property after fees and closing costs and such. And the one next property was in Sweeney, Texas. Where is Sweeney, Texas? Sweeney is about 45 minutes away from Houston, um, closer to the coast. Aha. Okay. You're getting farther and farther away as you progress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, well, we spent about $25,000 out of pocket on this deal. Um, nice home on a double lot and uh, cash flow $550 on that property. Um, at purchase, we made $20,000 in capital gains. And it's currently sitting at about worth $75,000 in equity capture right now. Very good. So you doubled your money on that property alone, 25 k to get it, your cash into the house, but you made a capital gain of 25 k So that that's 100% return. That's the equity capture. And you basically replaced your cash flow with this house, but you bought a second house. What's the cash flow look like on that one? So the next house was in Houston. It's like a Northeast Houston. And that one was uh, 24000 out of pocket. Um, Cash flow is five hundred and seventy-five dollars a month. It had um, ten thousand capital gains at purchase, and it has about seventy thousand dollars in equity capture at the moment. Very good, very good. And 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 you know, I you, you mentioned it was hard to let go of that cash flow, that five hundred and change that you're getting on the Magnolia house, but. I call that growing pains. My, my five-year-old, by the way, Jacob, is going through those now. He has trouble sleeping at night with actual growing pains in his legs. But uh, I call that growing pains because it is hard to give up that cash flow. But what did you do? You doubled it. And now you have two assets that are increasing in value. You enjoyed equity capture on two assets. You have equity buildup on two assets. Whew, good numbers. Hey, we're going to head into a break. Stick around. Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show returns in a moment. Got questions? Go to lifestylesunlimited.com. Dell Wamsley's Real Estate Investing Worst Case Scenario. Let's say the Democrats took away all tax deductions away from real estate like Ronald Reagan did in 1986. In 1986, we had stock market crash, a real estate value crash. The world came to an end for three months. Why? Because he took the value away from owning real estate for people who used it as a tax break. People like myself who got started at 87 go, you know, you can really buy this stuff cheap right now. In fact, I can buy it so cheap, I can rent it and make a 20% return. Cap rates were 20%. I buy a building and I made 20% of my money without leverage. If I put leverage on it, I made 30 or 40% return. Ungodly returns. Right now, you can earn less than 1% on a savings account. So do you think I hope that happens again? Yes, I do. In 2008, when the world crashed and cratered, I bought real estate 50 cents on the dollar. I said, well, what happened to the stuff you already owned? I kept it. It stayed full. We rented it. We made money. Don't let the fear of losing money hold you back from making money. Join us for the next live online free workshop. Register at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Creating the lifestyle you've always wanted. You're hearing Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show. 
Welcome back to the show. My name is Andy Webb. If you have any questions for me, you can send me an email to uh, askandy at l-u-i-n-c dot com. My brain just wandered. Let me repeat that. Askandy at l-u-i-n-c dot com. And I'm joined today by an investor in my area in Dallas-Fort Worth that is not just investing in single family properties right here in Texas or right here in in Dallas. We just heard that he's going across (laughs) very far across Texas to pick up some pretty sweet deals, uh, pretty sweet investments. Uh, I was just telling Jacob over the break that, uh, man, he's got some really good numbers. And for the listener, I really want you to internalize this because this is something you can do as well. And Jacob, you told us about your your friend, your your manager in the corporate world who was already a member at Lifestyles Unlimited, and he gave you the push. He said, hey, you need to check this thing out. And I'm really glad you did. I'm really glad you listened to him because you are seeing some very, very good success in the early stages of your investments. Um, I want to know, you, you became a member at Lifestyles Unlimited, and you, you, you initially went to the free workshop. Since that, we talked a little bit about the case studies. Are there other events that you've gone to, education events, or, or anything else that Lifestyles hosts that were particularly helpful to you? Yes, I went to the two-day seminar in Irving, and David Fisher was the host to that, and that was a ton of education um, that I got in those two days, and I learned everything I needed to know about single family and really gave me the confidence to want to go ahead and take action. Um, After the seminar, I was able to use Lifestyle's education program off of uh, my computer and learn how to be a landlord, pretty much from A to Z. They teach you Everything you need to know, if you choose to self-manage, you can obviously hire a property manager if that's not something that you're interested in. And then also I uh, was able to go to a single family road trip and see a property that another Lifestyles member had purchased and see what it looked like at the beginning and see their plans come to fruition of what it looked like at the end and see the whole process in person. Were you surprised by how open people are with their their numbers and their financials as they show and tell about these projects? Oh, yes. I was very surprised, especially since they don't get anything out of it besides giving back. And, uh, yes, everybody within Lifestyles is very open, and they're looking to help um, the person right beside them grow their net worth as well. Absolutely. We, we, we enjoy each other's company. I meet a ton of great people, uh, like, like our mutual uh, acquaintance, our mutual friend, uh, Jeff. And we, we, we do. We, we're sounding boards for each other. And obviously, the education at Lifestyles is huge. But just talking to other investors in real time is, is very helpful. And people are so open. That, the single family road trips, by the way, I don't know about you, Jacob, I learned so much at those. Do you have a background in, in construction or anything related to what we're doing as investors now? No, not at all. I can barely fix stuff around the house as a handyman. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, You give it to your wife. Hey, 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 give, give, give your wife the Phillips head screwdriver. Can you take care of this for me, please? Um, I'm with you. I'm with you. I didn't have any background either. And I think for the the people that are listening right now, it's it's don't let that hold you back. Um, I have I have I, I know people that are not even homeowners. They they are renters. They live in apartments. They love that flexibility, and they own countless single family houses. You you can do that too. Are there so the the road trips by the way are wonderful. Are there any operational tactics? Anything in particular that you'd like to highlight that David Fisher taught you at that two day seminar, or maybe that you learned somewhere else that has really helped you as a as a landlord as as you've operated over these past few years. Um, There's a lot of stuff that David Fisher taught at that two-day seminar. Um, I mean, they literally show you how to go on the MLS and get a deal and put an offer, and they show you how to do it from beginning to end. Um, There's a lot that stood out at the seminar, but the thing that stood out the most was that somebody with not a huge net worth, a lot of money myself starting out, could still see a lot at the end of the tunnel that I can retire within five years and not have to continue on the rat race of working 50 hours a week 
Um, and so I finally hit that magic number of 65 and be able to retire. Yeah. I'm telling you, now that you've got a little son, you, you're going to want to get there even faster. My wife and I, we were just kind of tooting along, ha happily working and investing and working and investing. And then the little guy came along, whole world changed. Um, and, and, and for the listener, you've mentioned the two day a couple times now. Uh, I just want to clarify what that is. We call that our financial freedom seminar. It's part of the financial freedom program. And what that is, is a, a, a live seminar over the course of two days, Saturday and Sunday, eight hours on the first day are devoted to what we've been talking about today, which is single family investing. Uh, you mentioned David Fisher. He teaches that here in Texas. Chris Wyatt teaches that here in Texas. We have teachers that go across the, 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 the nation, in fact, uh, and, and teach the two day. And they'll tell you how to do that in your area as well. How do we invest in single family houses? That's just day one. And everybody comes back for day two. And the focus is apartments. Now, our focus today has been single family, but we also invest in multifamily as investors at Lifestyles Unlimited. Now, Jacob, you've done houses so far. Do you have any goals for the future, plans to shift gears, get into multifamily? What, what, what's, on, what's on the board for right now for you guys? Currently, we're really enjoying the single family aspect. Um, we're sitting at about $2,000 in cash flow a month from our three properties right now. So our goal would be to ramp up and try to get some more properties. And our short-term goal would be try to get that cash flow up to about $5,000 a month. Um, so my wife could have the opportunity to help raise our son and our future children and uh, be able to take care of the household. Retire your wife is what you're saying, right? Yes. Yes. That's a short-term goal. And it impresses me because I will often cite on this show an average cash flow of four hundred dollars in Texas on our houses, but boy, you're getting two thousand on three homes on three rental properties. So, ah, maybe I need to revise my numbers. <laughs> it's definitely been a blessing, uh, and that two thousand is probably kind of a low ball because uh, rent increases are happening throughout. DFW and Houston and pretty much all around America to where, you know, that $2,000 is going to go up here yeah. uh, for the next several months. Yeah, surely. And, and, and you've already gone through the process of the 1031 exchange, sold one house, rolled those proceeds, deferring the taxes into the next two, doubling your equity, increasing your equity, doubling your cash flow. Well, you've, you, 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 you've been handed the roadmap. Jeff pointed you in the direction. Lifestyles helped you start walking down that map. You've put these things into play. You've seen how it works. And I hope the listener is listening and, and, and is internalizing this. You just got to wash, rinse, and repeat. You'll be at that, that $5,000 a, a month before you know it. Now, you may know this, Jacob. I don't know if the listener does, uh, but Lifestyles Unlimited, which began here in Texas, in Houston, over 30 years ago, we now have a much broader footprint now, and we do have realty teams operating in Phoenix, Arizona, in Arizona, and in Tennessee, and in Georgia. And as I listen to your story, and you're getting farther and farther afield, going from Forney to Rockwall, and then down to Magnolia, which is a little bit west of Houston, and all the way down to Sweeney, on almost to the coast there. Any plans to go out of state? Um, it's definitely an interest of ours. Um, I feel like we've definitely proven that we can self-manage and not actually live in the same city where the property is. Um, we were looking at um, a duplex in Georgia in the past and talked to some realtors out there. Um, just the deal didn't really come to fruition, but we're definitely open to out of state. And I can see that being um, one of our next properties being out of state. Yeah. I'm looking at, I'm looking at one here. I brought this up on a recent show. This is in Georgia single family house um cash out of pocket to pick this thing up is about 20k cash flowing uh it looks like about 3 to 400 and i had another one here this one's in tennessee $13,000 out of pocket that's about what you had on your magnolia house right yes so good numbers so let me ask you this we've got people listening to your voice right now people that have probably been listening to the show for, for some, some time now, what would you tell them to do next or the first thing they should do if they want to become a successful real estate investor like yourself? 
I would like for them to know that it can be done if they put their mind to it and they take action and they um, seek the education, um, especially the ones that Lifestyles provides. So I'd highly, highly recommend for them to check out a case study, um, free case study to see what Lifestyles is all about, see what we're talking about in person with the openness of the people. And uh, at the very least, I mean, go check out that two-day seminar and you'd be blown away for yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. For the listener, if you're interested in learning more about the case study, send me an email to askandy at com. You can also follow Lifestyles Unlimited on Facebook because the case studies are broadcast there. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Those same case studies are broadcast there. And again, go to our website, lifestylesunlimited.com. There's a button there that says join free workshop. That's an hour and a half of your time. You can do that fully online. Very convenient. So good recommendations, Jacob. And I thank you for your time today. And I thank you for joining and sharing your story. It's a great one. Those are great numbers. You've been listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. You have a great day. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show constitutes an endorsement recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.